What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, the Gauntlet series rolls on for the creative Arvana Ace 2 earbuds, and their opponent will be the OnePlus Buds Pro 2s. All right, this should be very interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing how these two square off. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, for those who want to see a price specs and app breakdown for each of these earbuds, I will leave a link in the description to my unboxing videos for both. That way you can go ahead and check those out and then come on back and join us for this head to head. So let's go ahead and pull one of each of these out. Again, these are both stem style earbuds. All right. As you can see here, let me get these guys in order. <laughs> All right, as you can see, we've got the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2s here on the left. We've got the Arvana Ace 2s on the right. Uh, again, two totally different uh, ways of going about the form factor of these. Let's take a look at the um, OnePlus Buzz Pro 2s first. I love the, the gloss and matte combination here. These guys have the squeeze control surface here. you got your uh, nice, your black noise canceling mic there. And I am rocking uh, CP1025 ear tips from SpinFit on these. Uh, but again, I love the fact these guys, I love how comfortable these are. Again, like I said, uh, stem style earbuds are, have started to grow on me a bit. So I really do appreciate them, especially when you get small, comfortable uh, versions like this. I uh, get yeah, very, very nicely done here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Arvana Ace 2s, more of a uh, conventional style, if you would. Uh, you've got your stem here, obviously, with your logo. At the bottom, you've got your noise canceling mic here at the top. This is a touch control surface here, so it'll be touch area right around here at the top here, just below the mic. Again, very, uh, pretty much uh, almost just a replica of other earbuds. I love the fact that they took a notch from the uh, nothing ear, nothing earbud, nothing ear twos, and nothing ear uh, earbuds, where they got the clear, the clear uh, casing, so you can see the inner works of the earbud. There, I like the way they they did go about taking that, taking that uh, that from them. Um, again, very very fun, and also the case, of course, does it as well. I really do like that. All right, so what we want to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get my phone out. We're gonna take a look at both of these in the ear. And here is the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2 in the ear. As you can see, doesn't take up a lot of the ear well. Uh, the stem does stretch out a little long, but gets the uh, mic at the end closer to your mouth. That way uh, phone calls are a little bit more clear. And of course you got your nice squeeze surface here as well. So that's another reason why it's a little long. That way you can actuate functionality. Again, very light earbud to wear long-term, extremely comfortable. And here's a look at the Arvana Ace 2s in the ear. Uh, similar to the, uh, excuse me, to the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2. Uh, the stem does stretch out almost as long, I, I think almost as long, maybe just as equally as long as the, uh, the Buzz Pro 2. But again, uh, like I said, gets the uh, mic at the end for your calls closer to your mouth there. But again, a very light, very comfortable earbud to wear long term as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and finish our comparison testing and then we're going to come back for the sound test. Stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2 in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2 in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Creative Arvana Ace 2 earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Creative Arvana Ace 2 earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Creative Arvana Ace 2 earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the creative Arvana Ace 2 earbuds in a crowded location. All right, we got the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 in the ear. Let me pull that up so you can see. All right, I'll put it down a little bit quick. All right, we're out here doing the ANC test. 
for these guys let me go ahead and pull out my phone i can show you the app as you can see right now we are in transparency mode okay let me get a little closer in there all right what we're gonna do now we got some traffic and everything moving back and forth good and band sound test uh test bed rather so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and point on noise canceling all right noise canceling is now on and a lot of the ambient noise has disappeared i did get a little bit from the pat the passing vehicle but not a lot as i i thought i would get so they have okay they have a good anc uh software on the laptop again no audio is being played this is pure and strength of anc software on the earbuds and I have to admit, these guys are doing a really good job. Now, are they Bose level? No. Are they Sony level? No. But they're up there. Um, I would definitely have to keep looking around uh, when having these on, because this, these combined with audio, yeah, you you won't hear anything happening uh, around you unless you're. So you got to keep looking around for them. All right, so this has been the ANC test for the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. All right, we are out for an active noise canceling test with the Aurora, <coughs> excuse me, Aravana Ace 2 earbuds by Creative. You see I have them in the air. All right, right now I am in ambient mode and these mics are picking up everything. Uh, it sounds really clear. I can hear all the traffic around me. I can even hear my uh, head, my hat is brushing up against the mics. You can actually hear that too, which is uh, very nice, meaning it's very clear very, and it's very uh, sensitive. So what we're gonna do now real quick is we're gonna go ahead and put these guys in, <coughs> excuse me, ambient, or excuse me, uh, adaptive noise mode, canceling mode. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now ANC has been turned on. Uh, the, the actually, the, it does deaden a lot of the uh, ambient sound. Very uh, clear, not clear, sorry, but very, very nice job. Could be better in some ass points. Like I just had a, a big rig truck or a big box truck ride past and I could pick that up but some of the uh, smaller vehicles, like your your regular, your normal uh, sedans and uh, minivans, are pretty quiet. Does a really, really good job at it. Uh, again, no audio is being played during this test, and I did switch out to the larger air tip uh, for a better seal. Uh, one, you know, as far as wearing them and, you know, also helps with audio as well. So it's good. I will give it a, a, a let's say out of one to 10, I'll give it a solid seven um, as far as noise canceling or adaptive noise canceling when it comes to these earbuds. It, again, it's not flooding. It's not wiping out all sound, but you do get a good bit out. And of course, when you're playing audio, whatever is being bled through now will disappear. So this has been a active noise canceling test for the Creative Arvana H2 earbuds. All right, we are back in. We got the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2 in the ear. We are in the app, obviously. So we're in transparency mode. That way I'm not yelling. <laughs> at least I hope I'm not yelling. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at my EQ settings. All right, these are my EQ settings that I have for my, uh, as far as for these earbuds here. I also have the bass wave term three quarters of the way up because you know I'm a bass head and I like that thump. Okay, so that's where we at as far as EQ settings. So let's go ahead and drop these guys into noise canceling. And of course, I got noise canceling to max because that's the way I like it. I don't do the smart, which is like the, uh, 
adaptive noise canceling. I don't, don't want that. All right. So we will go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and jump into our music. We already got it queued up. We will make sure we had the optimal listening level. We are there. All right, let's go. Already right off the bat, nice, bright sound. Vocals, nice and clean, nice and clear. Pianos, nice and crisp. I'm really enjoying how bright the sound is. It'll give me more detail with the vocalist and the piano. Now we've got the uh, street, the background string instruments coming in. Very nice. Nice widens out. Yeah. All right, the sub bass rumble from the cello is there, but not as prominent. Still not losing that balance with the vocalist as well as the uh, background instruments. And here we go. Now we'll come in with the uh, background vocalist here. And now got that 180 degree sound, field of sound. I got singers in both ears. I'm getting the detailing from the violins. Very clean, very nice. I just wish that the uh, the bass from the cello was a little bit more prominent in that song, in that song. But again, uh, nice, bright, natural volume on these earbuds already. I really enjoyed that. Really did. All right. So let's go ahead and get into our bass song. All right. Nice punch. All right. Sorry about that. My Lakers just won. Again, very nice punch there. Sub bass rumble, the reverberation cuts kind of short. It rumbles, but it cuts off. Again, I, not, I like the brightness. I just wish that the uh, it, it smoothed out the auto tune a little bit better. And I wish. The bass, even though I got the uh, bass wave turned up, wish it gave me a little bit more punch as far as the bass drop, but it's definitely there. And I'm enjoying the clarity of the uh, mids and highs. Very clean. All right. Again, the brightness uh, is definitely uh, a plus and minus here because, again, like I said, the bass. As, although it's got the thump, it's not hitting as hard. I may have to tweak that, but it does. I like, I like the clarity of the vocals, and I like the natural brightness of it. Uh, you know, I'll just have to fine tune that bass a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and get into our final song. All right, nice little rumble there at the beginning with the keyboard and drums. The drum, the drum set is definitely giving you that knock that you need. All right, now we got the lead saxophone in. Sounding very crisp. The clarity is, is fantastic. I mean... And if you're paying attention, if you're listening to this song, pay attention to the uh, drums, the kick drum there. And some, all right, but here's the uh, high note. Very nice. Now we got the rest of the background instruments coming in. Very clean. I like it. It widened out nicely, got nice little sound separation, the detail it is there with the instruments. I really enjoy that. All right, very clean, nice. I like the brightness is the key here of uh, uh, with these earbuds, the, the, the overall brightness of the sound, that very key, especially in the first and third songs. 
Uh, the bass, wish it was a little bit more powerful in the second song, but it was definitely there. It definitely gave you that knock. But again, with the reverb, it did go through the sub bass rumble, as I, as I normally call it. It did go through, but it cut off too soon, in my opinion. But again, uh, very nice listen uh, with these, have, these earbuds. I don't know why I'm about to call them headphones. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get these swapped out. We're going to put the Arvana Ace 2s to the test. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. We got the Arvana Ace 2s in the ear. We are currently in ambient mode here, as you can see. I will go ahead and show you my EQ settings for them. All right. That's what I'm rocking with. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and uh, switch these guys to ambient mode. You know what? I'm going to try to get, well, you know, yeah, we will go ahead. We will go back to A and C. All right. Cause I thought about it and I, you know, I think it's best that we do it that way just to keep it uh 100% even. So make sure we're in our optimal listening level. All right. We're there. Let's go ahead and play our music. Mm. All right. All right. Now, in, in with uh, noise canceling turned on, you got a nice volume, nice uh, natural volume, not as loud as the uh, as the Buzz Pro Two, but right now you're getting a nice, cl nice clarity. It's okay. Now we got the background instruments coming in. Now, this is where the bass takes over because it gets a little warmer with that cello. You're getting all the bass riffs, the reverse from that. I, I do like that detail. I just wish we had a little bit more. It sounds like the, uh, the mids and highs recess a little bit, become muffled with the bass. All right. Now, here we go with the background vocalist. All right, again, nice sound, but they sound a little muffled. All right, we get a little bit of the detailing from the uh, background instruments, but but that getting that nice detailing from the the rumbling of the cello. I like I, I did like that. I just wish it was a little bit had a little bit better balance as far as the mids and highs go. All right. I, they would it'd be a great, great sound to hear. But let's go ahead and get into our E40 song. Oh, my goodness. This is where these guys shine because this bass is ridiculous. Like, it's literally rumbling like my ears. If I sit here and sit still, it just, that bass hit is just ridiculous. The reverb or the uh, sub bass rumble. It's like a wave, it cuts off sooner than I like. It cuts off sooner than the uh, Buzz Pro 2, but man, that bass is so good. But and but again, with the da that being said, the vocals do take a hit. They do sound a little muffled. But I like in this song, be that muffledness in this song does smooth out the uh, auto-tune. Here's E40. Again, wish that it had a little bit more brightness in the all in the vocals, the mids and highs. Man, that's just I really wish it had that. Very clean. I love that bass is very clean, rather. All right. Oh, I just love it. I could listen to that thump all day. All right, let's go ahead and get into our third song. All right, here we go. Again, nice warm start off. Got that nice little rumbling from the, the reverberating bass from the keyboard and the drums. And now the lead saxophone comes in and it sounds recessed. It sound, uh, it would, this is where, this is again, this is where that problem lies. Uh, even with, with the bass and everything, you the the it, it, I just wish it had a good uh, balance. Okay, here comes the high note. 
Okay, nice sounding. Just uh, sounds a little muffled. Now we got the background instruments coming in. Okay, very, very nice sound. I just wish it was a clean, I wish it was a little bit cleaner. I get not cleaner, I'm sorry, a little bit brighter, which would have brought out more detail. Again, the lead saxophone, your lead instrument shouldn't sound recessed like they do here. Again, now, I, I, uh, just the potential is there. Now, like I did in my, uh, like in my unboxing video, we did the sound test there. I did go ahead and I did put them in active note or uh, ambient sound note mode. It did give me that bright, a little bit more of that brightness that I look for, but I lost all the bass. Like the bass was really pushed back in that ambient sound mode. So if I had one or the other, I'm going to miss out on something. So just in case anyone out there was someone, well, why don't you put them in ambient mode and see how that sounds? This is why I, I prefer, anyway, I prefer to listen to my music with noise canceling turned on. That way I could get the full, the full, uh, experience. Um, but that's what I experienced going from that to that. All right. So I just want to put that out there. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. We're going to talk about these two and see who our winner is. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. Let's go ahead and talk about these two earbuds. First off, let's talk about the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2. They, they had a really nice, bright, natural sound to them. The clarity as far as the vocals and the first, first two songs was great. Um, I like the clarity with the uh, and detailing of the instruments in the first song with the piano, the background string instruments. Uh, the cello was there, but the bass from the chords was okay could have been better um i think with a little bit of tweaking i think i may be able to improve that but i did like the uh the overall brightness of the sound because it provided more detail as far as the uh other instruments and everything and not to mention the crisp the crispness of the vocals from the lead and background vocalists now and when you switched over to the second song e40 again that how that bright that bright sound really uh brought out the uh auto tunes uh it wasn't as piercing so that's a good thing but it was nice and high the bass was good it could have been a lot better in my opinion you got the bass hit the sub bass rumble it did fade fade it, it ended quick faster or sooner than i wanted it to but again that's a uh a, a product of having a bright sound uh, it did take away from the bass. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to find that balance somehow with these earbuds because uh, I think uh, the potential is there. Now, going back into our third song where you had the, uh, uh, you know, Kitty G with the instruments. Again, the clarity brought out the detailing of the instruments, although it did hinder a little bit of the uh, little rumble, sub, little, little bass rumble from the keyboard. You did get the knock from the drums throughout the song. Um, but it wasn't as powerful, wasn't as powerful, uh, the, but the lead saxophone, very crisp, uh, the background instruments, once they came in soundstage widened out nicely, separation was there. Detail was there. It was a really great sound despite the, 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 the bass not being where I prefer it to be. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about the Arvana Ace twos. Now these guys are pretty much the polar opposite of the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2 where they got where they excelled in brightness, these guys excelled in the bass end, the low end. Okay? Uh you got in the first song, it was low end was real heavy even though I do have it turned I have it in the V shape. I think I might have to turn that down a little bit. Um turn them lower that because it did sound, it was so powerful. It muffled out, uh, my vocals. Okay. Um, it was still there, but it sounded a little bit more muffled and especially the uh, background instruments, the detailing was gone. Um, although I did get the nice rumble from the cello, uh, when they hit those chords that that rumble was there. Now going into the second song, the bass was incredible. So good. It hit hard. 
It did. The reverb was there. It did cut shorter than I liked, but it was there. It was prominent. But then again, the vocals also in that song, in that song suffered because uh, it sounded a little muffled there as well. And then going into our third song, I love the beginning. It was nice, warm. You got the rumble, the bass rumble from the keyboard, the drums, but the lead saxophone sound recessed. Uh, and then, of course, when the background instruments came in, that did not improve the the uh, lead saxophone as well. It seemed like it was pushed to the back to bring out all the other, you know, bring out the the uh, low end of everything there. So again, tweaking hopefully will uh, resolve that. And it was other than that, it was a it was a good sound. I just the potential was there with these earbuds. I definitely will have to. Uh, Take a look at that. All right. So with that being said, between the two of these, which ones would I go with? I, in my opinion, I would go with the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2 because of the brightness of the song of the natural, the natural brightness of their, of these earbuds. I could always turn down my volume, which is uh, something I could prefer. I would rather prefer, um, but I'm still getting that clarity uh, as far as the, the, uh, the mids and highs with these, uh, I'm still getting that. Uh, the bass is good. I could always, you know, tweak that a little bit to improve that, to give me a little bit more bass. I could find a happy medium, happy medium with that more so than I would with uh, so with uh, these with the Yarvana Ace Twos because they're so uh, um, tuned, heavy bass tune. I might be able to find that sweep that 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 middle ground especially with noise canceling turned on i might be able to find that here's hoping that i do because i the potential of these guys is so great um but in this one i would definitely have to go with the oneplus buzz pro 2 both of them had a great showing let's wrap this up all right so this has been episode number four of the gauntlet series for the creative arvana ace 2 earbuds and their opponent the oneplus buzz pro 2 if you like what you see go ahead and hit the like button if you want to join me as I continue this journey, hit the subscribe and the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when videos like this and others drop and make sure to share these videos with all your other friends and stuff. Maybe they might want to join us as well. Again, I'd like to thank you guys for coming out. We've got two more uh, for this episode, for this gauntlet series. I got some other unboxing videos I got to put out. And then we're going to start working on some head to head uh, with some headphones. Uh, hopefully I can get the uh, Sennheiser fours in so we can do an unboxing and a gauntlet series with them. I, I already got plans for that one. That's going to be an epic uh, gauntlet series once I'm able to get my hands on them when they're released. We got a lot of fun coming up. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when those videos also hit this, uh, hit uh, YouTube as well. And again, I'd like to thank you guys for coming out, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.